square. With a cut and stunner shades and a golden hair. Super Saiyan, he ain't playing when they hit the air. He bow high. Alright, so we in the studio. We in the studio. I hit the record button. Not a big deal. So, in the studio, people brought food. And now, and now the studio stinks like food. I'm like, come on, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Ugh. So, here we go. Air it out. I know, but it's cold outside. It, I know. It's a win-win situation, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. You're gonna be hungry all day. Oh my goodness. So here we go, guys. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast available on all podcast platforms. Okay. It's gonna an exciting day. Wednesday, February 8th. We have an exciting show. So tune in right now. Tell your friends and family. We let the we got the beat here. Yeah. Okay, all the way from Florida, Colorado. I repeat, Florida and Colorado. Let's go. Run it up. Nice up. Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. Woo! It's the most electrifying podcaster in the world, Rico Suave, Latino Heat, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I'm so good at saying that right now. Okay, so here we go, guys. I'm so excited for this episode. Yeah. Um, all the way from Florida. Let's get a round of applause. Get off your feet because I'm excited for this one. It's Wednesday, February 8th, which means it's meant to be. We got a business owner. She's an oracle slash tarot reader. She's a counselor, spiritual healer. She's a life coach. Guys, come on, let's go. Let's give a round of applause to the very own Marcy Granger. Yeah. Woo! Hello, hello. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh my goodness. So so grateful that you're on the show. Tell us, how's Florida? It's really nice. <laughs> I can't complain. Everybody's down. I'm like, it's 80 degrees outside. So oh, I'm good really? You got to say that? I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. You know. Whack a doodle do right there, guys. Come <laughs> on. That's awesome. Okay, so here in Denver, we're about in the 30s, 40s right now. Yeah, I lived there for a little while. I don't miss the snow. Sorry, I have to admit it. It's nice uh, when it falls for like the first like day, and then it's like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> hey, so tell me which part of Colorado did you live in? I was in the Denver area, so I lived in Aurora. Oh, snap. Yeah, I know where that's at for sure. I'm over here in the uh oh, yeah. Denver, Denver Tech Center. Nice. Nice. Yep, See, that's where I am. Woods. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. No doubt. No. How long did you live in Colorado for? Um, just over a year. It wasn't too long. Word. Yeah, Word. yeah. It was that too. So it was interesting times. Very cool. Very cool. So, um, you know what? I'm so happy you came on the show. You've been to Colorado. Does that mean you've been snowboarding or skiing? I've been snowboarding. I didn't ski. I snowboarded. How was that? Yeah. It was so much fun. I actually kind of want to go back. I miss it. It's been too long. Word, word. Yeah, yeah, there you go. No doubt. I try to go almost every other weekend. It's serious. I like it. I love the mountains. You know what? When it's summer, when it's summer, I'm like, man, I want summer the whole time. <laughs> and I still do. But then when I'm in the mountains snowboarding or sledding with my girl okay. and we're up there and we're just, oh, man, I'm like, man, this is just unbelievable. Cause yeah. I, you know, you gotta wear snow gear and all that stuff. Once you have all that on, it's legit. It's game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, well, you get to be one with nature. So I mean, who doesn't love that? I know, and it's <laughs> weird because when it's when it turns cold, I'm like, oh, please stay summer. Play. But when I'm now now that it's winter and you, I go play in this, it's like so sweet. So that's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. So thank you so much for being on the show. Before we get into what you do and everything. I got to do a quick shout out to the website because my uh, producer is looking at me crazy saying I got to promote the website. So here we go, guys. The best way to support the podcast is by going to arielent.com. Arielent.com. That's the best way you can book me for my photography, the podcast, my music. I can do a show. I can do and play. All, all, I play. People have paid me to play over the voicemail. Check out the merch. My new adventure, Ariel Salsa. We just sold a couple salsas today. Actually, three of them. Guys, it's going. Ariel Salsa. Everybody wants it before the Super Bowl. Ariel Salsa. ArielEnt.com. All right. Great way to, another great way to support me is going to my YouTube channel. Yep. Search engine, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. 
arielent.com. Boom. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for your support. The donations means the world to me. The links are down below. And what else? I got something else. Oh, yeah. Five-star review. Apple and Spotify. Five-star review. Apple and Spotify. Yeah, I almost forgot. Oh, man. If I didn't say that, they would have got on me on that one. Here we go, guys. I got the prayer of the day. The prayer of the day. So here we go. I want to say just thank you, God, Jesus, God, uh, our guardian dear. To whom's God love commits us here, ever this day and night, be at our side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. I want to say thank you, God, for having Marcy on the show. I want to say thank you, God, for all the millions and millions of listeners tuning in right now. Thank you, God, for our perfect health, for family, uh, for safe travels, for shelter. I can go on and on. Praise God, glory to God. Amen. Boom. That's what I got. Amen. Yes. That was a good. Woo. Feels amazing right now, all the way from Colorado, Florida. Let's bring her in right now. Marcy Granger, tell us who you are and where we can support you. Yeah. Again, thank you for having me. So I'm Marcy with Oracle 3D. So some people do call me Oracle. Um, but the 3Ds and the 3D stand for Discover Divine Destiny. So as a certified Ascension Guide, I help individuals and, and small businesses, excuse me, <laughs> discover their truth align with their divine path, and ultimately achieve their destiny. Um, so you can find me, all the social channels, so YouTube, Instagram, it's Oracle. Um, apparently I've made it because there's fake accounts out there every day. So it's just Oracle one underscore, the number three, the letter D. <laughs> yeah. um, and then Facebook is Oracle three Ds, like D, D, D. Um, and then my website is actually Oracle number three D dot co go so yeah awesome guys instagram oracle underscore 3d oracle underscore one of them on a one underscore 3d that's o-r-a-c-l-e underscore number three d okay and her facebook is oracle 3d okay and then she has the links as well on her instagram like comment share save follow like comment share save and follow it's legit check it out like comment share save and follow let's go to linktree uh, business owner discover divine destiny i checked her link tree boom you go to her store, yeah, all there. gift card <laughs> amazon deals etsy women media marketing i chose um i chose what i chose oracle 3d i went to the home oracle 3d dot square dot site i went there checked out the website Woo! and then you know what else i checked out i went to the youtube channel <laughs> Go to the YouTube channel. That's Oracle 3D. Oracle 3D. You know what? We're going to do it live right now. We do it live. Check this out, Marcy. Where's it at right now? Subscribe right now. Boom. Woo! And I do return the favor. So I appreciate anyone that shows appreciation to me. I always follow back yeah. and support as well. So. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Woo! Support Oracle, each other. That's what it is. Hit the subscribe, like, comment, share, say, follow, guys. Check it out. Take your time. It's awesome. Boom. We got. We're gonna get straight into the business. We got questions coming left and right. Oh my gosh. So Marcy, tell us where do you want to begin? Like, tell us how you all started. Tell Ooh. when did it all start with the business and <laughs> everything? How did what's going on here? So to sum it up, I've always kind of had like a, a weird connection with the divine. We'll say that. Um, so I had a, an interesting child up, um, hit my 20s, had a lot, you know, if life could throw it at me. It, it has. And instead of letting it get me down and I've been able to turn it into a way to help others, which is ultimately my mission and goal and passion is to help others. So it kind of led me down my spiritual path and I've been able to take all that knowledge and experience and turn it into helping everybody else. That's so great to hear. And helping others is a big deal. And for me, I love helping others. And I think that's why we cross paths because that's what this podcast is all about. It's about upliftment, encouragement, and helping others. So it's meant to be. That's why we ran into each other on Clubhouse. Boom. Tell me. Exactly. Oh, I love your name too. <laughs> you know, tell, tell me about Clubhouse. How do you like it? Have you been on it lately? I love Clubhouse. I haven't been on it recently. Um, it's kind of, you know how things kind of go through its wave and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm actually 
getting back on it more frequently and finding those those people in those little niches and stuff like that. But it's it it's definitely its own space of being able to share a lot of truth and connect on a less superficial way. Wow. Yeah, I like it a lot because I get on it every morning and I get into this uh, one room called the gratitude room. It's pretty yes, sweet. That's a great room. Yeah. yeah. Love the gratitude room. And I do that every morning. It's great. I, I mean, I've done it before I even, I, it was so nice because uh, before I even got on clubhouse, I didn't, I was, that's what I was doing even before I was giving thanks. And then now the clubhouse came, I ran into that. And then I run into so many people and then, yeah, it's super cool. I love clubhouse. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I've met so many connections there. Podcast blew up because of Clubhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Means a lot. Yep. Yep. So uh, with Florida, tell us which uh, on Florida, we I've been there to Universal Studios in Orlando. And I've been to Miami Beach, South Miami Beach. And what else did I go? Oh, I went to Daytona. And okay. Yep. Those are the places. Have you been to Tampa or St. Pete yet? No, I have not, but we want to. Gotta go there. Oh. Gotta go there. (laughs) Okay. That's probably my favorite. So there there's there's word that there's speculation that it's uh it's a spiritual vortex there. So since we're talking about the spiritual stuff, um there's a spiritual vortex there. So it's very protected. It's a very like light, fun energy, like you're instantly happy there. So you need to check it out. Wow, spiritual vortex. Yeah. Can you give us a little bit of what spiritual vortex means? So obviously everything is connected in the world. Human spirit, science, you know, literature, it's all connected. We are all one in some some way, shape, or form. It's one of the many things I've learned on my journey. So with that, just like you have chakras in your um, system. The world, the earth, it is a mother Gaia. It's a being. It also has vortexes, which are its chakras. So there's um, at least seven in the world that we know of, obviously. Whoa. Um, there's um, some in uh, Arizona. There's some in, um, like I just said, St. Pete. And there's a couple other places, like just in the U.S. that have them. But it's an energy vortex. So you, when you're there, you can literally tell the difference in energy. And that's where, like, cr- you know supernatural happen and no i'm not meaning just like like ufos show up and stuff like that (laughs) but like people have had like literally like enlightening visions and you know just vast knowledge or they are if they're experiencing kind of illness and they go to these vortexes and they're there they can sometimes instantly feel healed things like that so it's just it's the power of energy and and how the world works it's amazing man they do not want us to know that because i didn't even know that they don't teach me that in school I'm telling you, it's all about that divine ancient truth. Oh my goodness, divine ancient truth. Oh yeah. my ancient. My truth. favorite. I'm writing that <laughs> down. I'm writing the notes down. That's what I do. So <laughs> yeah. man, we're, we're talking about spiritual vortex. We're talking about Saint Pete. We're talking about Arizona. We're talking about um, energy vortex. Uh, people have enlightenment visions slash people go there and they've been said they've been healed. Woo. Dang, that's deep right there. That's where I want to go. I mean, everything is energy. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Man, you bring that energy, you bring that high frequency energy. Man, that's God energy right there for me. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Energy, every, um, every atom has energy. And then like, my opinion, your soul is energy. It can't be, you know, recreated. And it can't be dissipated either. So it's continuously ever um, exchanging its form, but it's it's always present. It's always present. Always present. You just get to decide how powerful it is that day. <laughs> Jeez, you're telling me. I know. I like to wake <laughs> up in the morning and give thanks, high frequency, and, you know, just be a high frequency. Try to, you know, do my very best to be like that all day. I'm not perfect, but I try to be like that all day. I got little visionary things on my wall to be like, you know, I, you know, I'm, you know, just keep. The most powerful, powerful thing you can do is a vision board and gratitude. Like those two things are like the keys to the best life ever. I'm telling you. And you know what? I have this, I, every time I get on my computer and I get, I pull up the Microsoft Word just in case I think of something else I want to add to it. 
Yeah, it's real. It's starting to get real quick, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, even Marcy feels the energy right now. I want to go with the next question. Oh, I like this one right here. What? Tell us a little bit about the spiritual healing. Tell me about that with uh, that you work with that. That was really intriguing. Kind of what I like to do is uh, forms. So I, I mean, I come from like social media, very like Western culture, Southern Baptist, all that kind of stuff. So where now I realize the other vast, you know, areas of the ethers and things like that. So I like to incorporate all of it, give people, you know, the ultimate healing possible for them. Um, so that's where I like to say that I live in my divine purpose and passion every day by making it my mission to constantly discover as much truth and knowledge as I can. And then using that to help others achieve their goals and dreams which in my belief eventually creates a better and pe more peaceful world. Um, and like I said, everything's energy. And with the energy, everything is intention behind that energy. So whatever you do in the world, whatever you do in life from second to second and even broader, everything's based off your intention. So if you go in with a grateful intention or a positive intention, you're going to get that back in return. Absolutely. So. Oh man. And lately I've been given and uh, my life has been amazing. So here we go, guys. That is Oracle 3D period score period site. I, I just put that, say, I say that out there because that's what my thing is showing me up here. And as well, yes. sweet, sweet. To book a reading counsel, counseling session or a healing session. There it is. Check out her store as well. Oh, let's talk about your store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I said, everything is intention in the world. So these are intention-based products, or I like to call them tools. Um, so I have, you know, cleansing and protection room spray. Um, I also make intention candles, bath salts, because the most like valuable thing you can do is obviously create your space in your home and obviously take care of your body, which is your temple. Um, so baths are obviously the best way to do that. Simmer pots. I even have just now. Nice. It's, each one it's all natural herbs based on the intention that is being set um as mixed with crystals and depending it has like charged moon water charged moon crystals like all of those things um it's a lot of energy put into all of them so cool and then the, the 369 journal i actually wrote that it's a manifestation journal um, and it uses the power of 369 which was discovered by nikola tesla um, and it's a proven way to manifest. So it uses the divine energies of the universe as well. I incorporated, you know, gratitude and things like that. And the consistency of putting your intentions and that energy and that repetitive um, subconscious um, reprogramming every day to where no matter what you put in there, it will manifest at a minimum of 30 days to 90 days. I understand. Wow. And I wrote that down, the 369 journal. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm showing everybody vision. right now. Yeah. The, <laughs> oh yeah. The vision board. You got a, yeah. vision, you got a, you got a vision board session as well. Yep. Yep. Donate and support. There we go, guys. Go right now. Oh my goodness. Can you give us a little tip about a vision board? So a vision board can be as easy and as complex as you want to test a period verbatim. Um, so the more energy you put into it, the quicker it happens. But honestly, your vision board could be as simple as a Pinterest board on your phone or a to-do list that you look at every day. Just put it by your mirror, write five things that you want to manifest into your life, whether it's I'm going to drink five glasses of water every day to I will be, you know, driving a Ferrari in five years. Handle the Bible, whatever you want to say. I can attest that every time I've ever made a vision board, it has come into fruition. And it is also fruition faster than I even expected it to happen. Wow. It's immaculate. So they are probably the most or one of the most powerful tools you can ever do for yourself. No doubt. I got one that I have back in the day. I would say back in 2014, 15, I have one. Mm -hmm. And I look at the list right now, and most of it is marked off. 
Yeah. But I, but yeah. I, I actually found one of mine a while back and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about this. And yeah. it's like, wow. Didn't even realize it uh, achieved every single one of them. So. Yeah, no doubt. I know. I got like <laughs> maybe, maybe a couple things, but you know what? I'm like, wow, I got everything. Everything I wanted is almost off that list. No doubt. I still mm -hmm. got it hung over here. But yeah, no doubt. That's cool. I want everybody to go check this out. Oracle 3D period square period site. Oracle 3D period square period site. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> we'll go with the next question here. Oh, you know, with your business and your spiritual healing and your, you're willing to help other people. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Right. So what I, what we want to know, you know, when I say we, everybody that's tuning in right now, yeah, Ariel's entertainment podcast, arielent.com. We want to know, um, uh, who's been your biggest influences? Like who helps you out every day? Who help? like, who help? like who influenced you? Who influences you? Um, so mine's probably kind of like a conglomeration of just like, ancient, you know, learning from ancient knowledge and people and things like that. But I will say my number one person is probably my mom. Word. Um, she raised me since I was little. Um, she actually passed away seven years ago now. And <laughs> to this day, she's still my biggest cheerleader and my biggest motivator, of course, to make her proud and to carry on, you know, um, so she's obviously number one. Um, granted, there are a couple, you know, influencers out there on social yeah. media that have, yeah. you know, kept me motivated and things like that. So, I mean, and it's funny, it's it's a, who you aren't actually very spiritual based, but they actually now kind of start to mention it. So, um, but like people anywhere from like Andy Frisella, Ty Lopez, Gary V to a couple, actually some YouTubers such as you and, you know, the gym goddess, Chloe Taylor, uh, Pajero Mardisic. Runes and Ravens off of TikTok, you know, picture of everybody. Yeah, no doubt, man. You know, you said a big one for me was Gary V. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know yeah. if you, have, I don't know if you have any books of his, but I got one of his books, and it it helped me out so much. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have some of his books. I've actually been on some of his calls and stuff, and I'm actually part of uh, his 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 texting. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I get those, and I'm like, I, you know, I love it. It's the best. I mean, and you know, what he says is true. It's just, just do it. Just go do it. You know, we are, are worth being our best cheerleader, cheerleader. So, so <laughs> great stuff. I know when he sends stuff like that, I'm like, you're right. I got to, got to start reading. And then I start reading and then I'm like, wow, I'm more motivated. I is weird. Uh, it's weird. Cause, uh, I read, I, I'm tired and I, I start reading and then after I'm done reading for like 20 minutes, it like my mood is like, wow, I'm ready to do something. So accomplished, yeah. Sometimes yeah, I, I know. A little bit of motivation. That oh my bit, gosh. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said it best. Yo, you said it best because yesterday I worked a full day of work. I did two podcasts and then I had to go 20 minutes away from my house because um I have to get uh, salsa. I make salsa. So I had I had to trade out on that. I'm gonna send you something. You send me some salsa, but yeah. go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll back channel on that. We'll back channel yeah, on that. Yeah. <laughs> so and then I so I was like, yo, I gotta go make a fresh batch because I was running out. So I had to go make a fresh batch for today for the people that I sold it yeah. to. And um, oh man, what did I lose my track? What was I talking about? You were saying know. you live like 20 minutes away. We were talking about, you know, like one little thing can make you feel so accomplished and motivated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So I did all that, came home, made the salsa, yada, yada. I was done by like 9, 9 30. I was like, I, I was like, wow, whatever. I was tired, man. I was like, full day right there. I took out my like, a Gary V book. It was a Gary V book. Speaking of Gary V, oh my gosh. It was Gary V book. I'm reading it. And I start, and I, I was like, a little tired, whatever. And I started reading it. I don't know why I started reading. I just wasn't ready to go to bed, but I was like, gonna read whatever. So I read. It was meant after, for you. And after I was done, it was like 11, 10, 11, 15 p.m. I was like, all right, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. Oh, oh, my point is, my point is, is that little reading for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I felt more accomplished yeah. than the whole day. That all yeah. that stuff I told you, I felt more accomplished reading those 20, 25 minutes. I can't, I can't, I can't. And you, yeah. you, and you, you said it. 
sometimes it's the smallest thing and sometimes it's the largest, you know, it just depends. And, and we need to like recognize that for ourselves a lot of times. And also remember, like, be, you know, consider that for other people. Like we're all on our own different, we're all one conscious, but we're all on our different timelines in that. So, you know, just be there for each other and appreciate that. And sometimes it's the smallest thing of smiling at somebody can make their day better. And they're like, all right, cool. I got this, you know, yeah. or reading a book or whatever. You never know. You just never know. Yeah, no doubt. Like I said, I put a full day of work and all that. I read just 20 minutes and I felt more accomplished in the whole day. It was crazy to feel that way. And then you just said it. So yeah, that you killed it right there. <laughs> You're killing the interview. Um, oh, what have you learned? from your business, your Oracle journey, your tarot journey, your spiritual journey, what's the biggest lesson you would tell yourself when you, if you were starting right now? So I'd say two things. As far as like life journey, like Oracle side, I would say thing is one-sided or strictly black and white, period. Everything is honestly more like a vast array of perceived colors and shapes. <laughs> Like we all live our own personal creative video game in a way. Like, you know, like you get to decide what makes you be on top of that. Like you did at the end of the day, like it really is true. You get to control your reality and, and then, you know, how you react to whatever happens to you and you get to create your own unique journey that you call life. So that's as far as spiritual life, that's like probably my biggest lesson that I've learned you get to honestly be older and everything. Um, and then as far as like business wise, it's and honestly life too, but uh, it's, it's don't give up like one step forward and you feel like you fall three steps back. But every single time that step back, if you continue to step forward, the universe is going to catapult you five steps more. Like just don't give up because I can't tell you how many times where I'm in that, like, I just don't think I can keep going, but I'm like, but I want to. And I take that one, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do this one last thing, like one last, and like the, the greatest thing ha opportunity approaches just like this right here. You know, it's, it's the universe will have your back, especially when you're doing something that's your purpose and your mission. And you're doing it from a place of like authenticity. Yep. And, and that's bettering, not just you, but bettering the world. You know, you don't do it just money or just for one singular sided thing, but from it, from a place of authenticity, the universe will all be back. Like, just keep going and just go, don't overthink it. That's another thing. Like, that's probably the worst. That's why I say, you know, especially for other people who are looking to do life coaching or, or anything. Don't overthink it. I mean, you've even heard from Gary Vee. It's so true. And I'm like, I've speak to myself on this even. It's so easy to overthink. But at the end of the day, just put it out there. The people who are meant to find you and who need your help are going to find you. Yeah. It's part of your life path that's already written out for you. Just step into it. You know, like your your people and your purpose is there waiting for you to show up. Just yeah, they be are. authentic and it will happen for you. <laughs> Yeah, you just be authentic and people are there waiting for you. Like yeah. just, you know, you can practice as much as you want, practice, 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 but get out there and like, you know, if you're you know, if you're a poet, get out of your own way. Yeah, go out there and share it to people at, you know, open mics, you know, go out there and share it to people on stage, you know, you're like it's super dope. Or go on Instagram live or go on Clubhouse, go on the poet rooms and share. Uh there's a bunch of ways you can do all that. And that's oh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny. That's actually like, I've actually <laughs> unintentionally, <laughs> I've kind of migrated to more so helping other businesses and, and business owners, like, you know, other counselors and stuff like that actually get them like to grow their business because they get so caught up in the, the sales tactics of, Oh, I've got to be super clean and super, you know, straightforward. And I got to go by this script. No, oh. no, just get out there and do it. Yeah. And and helping them grow their business that way. I've ended up doing that more than just actual personal people. So like, get out of your own way. It's okay. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Don't give up. Keep going. Be authentic. Be real. And um, I wrote, um, you know, I can't sometimes read my notes. That's how I do. Yeah. I do the same thing. <laughs> 
awesome. That's what I get from doing notes. Guys, that's what's up. I like that. We got five minutes. I'm going to give everybody your credentials left. I know it. time flies by when you're having fun. I get it. I get it. I know. I try to get the producer to let me go longer than 30, but they tell me not yet. They say not yet. Yet. That's the key. Yet. Soon enough. Shh. Soon enough. That's right. Soon enough. I like that answer right there. Here we go. <laughs> you know, um, you're in uh, in Florida. What are some fun things? What are some fun hobbies? You, um, We're going to answer these questions quick. What are your some fun hobbies you like to do out there in Florida? Um, so honestly, like I said, I like to learn absolutely anything and everything I can. Um, so honestly, going out, so there are tons of stuff springs also it's really cool florida is actually a very like it's a melting pot for so many cultures and stuff so like just going anywhere and meeting people you can learn just by saying like hey how are you yeah uh, so i love doing that going out and meeting people and then like i'm very crafty so i like to make things create things like i said i make candles and stuff like that and so and there's actually again there's a really nice culture here of um, markets there's there's a market any day of the week everywhere you go at some point so oh i like that when i was in south miami beach there was something going on every single day there yeah it's really cool, um, really cool. a lot of heritage and, and, and communities around here yo here in colorado we don't got that <laughs> it's because you got so many mountains separating everybody <laughs> yo, yeah everybody just goes to the mountains and that's it yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you, that is so awesome. I, I enjoy the craft. I like how you said crafts. Crafts yes. is a lot of fun. Yes, yes. It gets us back to, you know, our natural state of. I agree. It brings you, you know what else does? Um, playing board games, I feel. Yes, yes. I'm a board gamer or card gamer. I'm not a big, you know, videos, video yeah. game. Yeah, great. But give me a card game or a board game all day long. <laughs> no doubt. We got the uh, we know we got the battleship. My girl and I, we play battleship. We play Clue. We play Uno. We play what else do we play? Oh, we play um, can Candyland. Oh, nice. I like that. I play that with my daughter. She loves it. <laughs> yeah, we, we both, yeah. And we play. Oh, we play um, connect four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my daughter loves tic tac toe. She Where? will play tic tac toe all day, every day. If you like. Oh my gosh, I get my butt kicked all the time on Connect Four, all the time. I'm not good at it. I don't know why, but it is what it is. All right, guys, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, I've got a couple more questions, but we got three more minutes. I'm gonna show everybody where they can follow you one more time. Boom, everybody, go and support mm -hmm. our sister Marcy. Here we go. Boom, Oracle underscore three D. Oracle underscore three d marcy granger discovery divine destiny small business owner hit the link tree there you can go to all her links support her as well and then go to her website oracle 3d period square period site there you can book her for uh appointments and then as well i went to her youtube because that's what we do here we go live and we hit the subscribe button on the youtube there it is oracle 3d all right that's easy right there. Yeah. All right, Marcy, thank you so much for coming on. And when you pull up, we got the we got the merch for you when you come to Colorado again. We got the red t-shirt, we got the white t-shirt, we got the stickers, we got the pens. So whenever you pull up, we got it for you. Here I'm gonna come go. see you. I'm gonna get some salsa and I'm gonna bring some candles. Oh up. yeah, salsa, yes, salsa. When I come out to Florida, if I come out to Florida, I'll pull it up too, no doubt. I'll let you know. Here Absolutely. There we go. Two more questions. We'll answer them quick. We only got we only got two minutes left. So here we go, guys. And if you hear music in the background, don't worry. That's just the cutoff music they put on the background. It's okay. Here's it goes. Um, how do you want the world to perceive you? You know, this was probably the hardest question that you asked me <laughs> because. <laughs> For me, I hope by the time that anyone hears this, that honestly, the world is already a better place because of the work that I'm doing. So that's always my wish. Um, but if I had to give an answer, I'm not good at talking about myself. Um, overall, I would say it's be someone known as generous, trustworthy, authentic, and hardworking, and passionate about, you know, the greater good of all, not just myself. Um, my, you know, thing starts 
spark that lights a match that can light a wildfire that spreads light across the entire world. So at the end of the day, I just hope to be that spark. Dang. <laughs> be that light, be that spark. That's yeah. awesome. Great answer right there, Marcy. I'm going to have to replay that to hear that again. <laughs> and here we go. Last question of the day from Marcy. Everybody, thank you for tuning in to Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, ArielENT.com, available on all podcast platforms. We've got the video on YouTube, the audio on all audio platforms, all social media platforms. Donation links down below. Five star review on Apple and Spotify. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Means the world to me. Last question here. And if you have music in the background, not a big deal, Marcy. Here we go. And you have any shout outs after that question? Any shout outs? Anything else you want to promote? Go for it. Last question. Um, any advice? For anyone going through a tough time, because you know you're high frequency and that's what you practice and that's what I practice too. So what are some tips on that? Absolutely. Well, to sum it up, like I said, you are the controller of your destiny. So at the end of the day, you know, we're all going to have bad days. That's part of this human experience. We're all meant to experience all aspects of that, all the emotions, all of it. That's part of the journey. But at the end of the day, you get to decide how it affects you. So can take the bad day and make it a good day and make it a good experience and part of your story or you can let it defeat you so at the end of the day you get to and also feel free to always reach out to somebody you know there please reach out to me anytime i do check my messages or you know reach out to your friends reach out to a professional nearby i mean we're here for each other we're not alone so we're not alone reach out to each other that's all it takes just reach out we can even reach out to marcy dm her and she's willing she's willing to look at the dms guys so do it right now